So this video came about because I found a website that severely, and I mean severely understated Xeno Vegeta's power. Xeno Vegeta, the one from Heroes, the main one from Heroes, you know, the Super Saiyan 4 Prince of all Saiyans, Time Patroller. This website called Versus Battle Versus Battles Fandom severely understated his power. Um so how badly did they understate his power? Are are they just a little bit off? Are they way off? Um well, on the wiki here, they have that his attack potency is multiverse level plus. Okay, that seems seems reasonable, right? But here's the thing. Saying that he's only you know, capable of destroying a few universes or even, say, a multiverse is kind of not exactly accurate because, all right, here's the thing. The the Dragon Ball timeline, the, the Dragon Ball multiverse is 12 universes. So if we're saying that Xeno Vegeta can destroy 12 universes, that's like, wow, that that's insane. That is insane amounts of power. But there's more. <laughs> There is far more to this. Why? First off, let's get some uh, preludes out of the way. Let, let me let me briefly talk about the avatar from Xenoverse 1 and Xenoverse 2. Your playable character. The character that you make and go on a journey as and experience the Dragon Ball world. Your character in that game, believe it or not, is far more powerful than pretty much everything in Dragon Ball Super. Angels and all. Now... That sounds like a bunch of hooey, like, what? No way. Um, actually, yes. Why? Because your character in Xenoverse 1 defeated Dem Demon God Demigra fairly effortlessly. At least I'm assuming it was fairly effortlessly in canon. I think it was. Demon God Demigra was threatening the entire reality of Dragon Ball. That is absurd, right? That is absolutely absurd. That would easily make him 4th or 5th dimensional. And your avatar was like, You're fucking weak sauce, bro. Like, get out of my face. Um, it is true that you did have help with Super Saiyan 3 God Essence Goku. But he didn't really do much. So I'm just going to give it to the avatar here. Then, your avatar in Xenoverse 2 was able to defeat a full power final form Mira with insane time abilities, insane power, like power that was actually way stronger than Demi God Demigra. He was able to do it alone. So, and here's the thing, Xeno Vegeta, get this, makes the avatar look like weak sauce. That is kind of hard to wrap your mind around. But here's another thing. To maybe help you understand it a bit more. What we're really dealing with here. The monster that we're dealing with that is Xeno Vegeta. The absolute overpowered character that he actually is. But people don't give him credit. Super Saiyan 4 Xeno Goku. Okay. So, one time he powered up just to flex. To flex on some villains. You know, show his power. Like, yeah, I'm super cool. And casually shook an entire timeline. Holy mother of fuck, right? Now, what dimension does that scale to? Oh, you know, the sixth dimension. Because it was affecting time on such a huge scale. Now, you could be saying, oh, come on, that's hyperbole, shaking her leg, you know, you know, pulling her leg and all that. It's just, there's no way. They might be thinking, oh, come on. That's a load of hooey. All right. Well, even if we scale it back a bit and say he was only shaking one timeline... Um, well, he also kind of wasn't, so, yeah, the Xeno characters are easily six-dimensional. So, where in the dimensional tiering does the Dragon Ball Super characters tier to? Well, I would say they are mid-tier to ever so slightly high-ish tier fourth-dimensional, because there's a character named Hit, right? Hit from Universe 6. The assassin that can stop time and has his own pocket dimension where he stops time and manipulates time. So he's a fourth dimensional being. Sweet, he's got time hacks. Except characters like Goku, Jiren, who is 
bullshit overpowered, by the way. Um, not nearly as overpowered as the hero's counterpart of him, but still, anyway. And Vegeta could also do the same thing, and characters stronger than the time skip could go right through it. That makes them fourth dimensional. So, sweet. The super characters are at bare minimum. This is bare minimum scaling, power, power scaling estimation. They're fourth dimensional. Except, Xeno Vegeta would look at this time ability and would be like, that, that, that's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because Vegeta has stopped time manipulation and completely resisted it by characters that are so far ahead of Hit, Hit looks like an ant in comparison. So, when I say Xeno Vegeta in his base form can solo Dragon Ball Super, no problem, I'm not kidding. And I'm not saying only the mortals, either. Gods of Destruction? Wrecked. Angels? Wrecked. Zeno? Absolutely mollywopped. Wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. He's also immune to his existence erasure. Now, that sounds insane, but it's the truth. He also, his mind cannot be manipulated. He's also immune to matter manipulation, which is the most insane thing to me. So, if he is stronger than a character like the Avatar from Xenoverse 1 and 2, who casually beat a, let's say, fifth, low fifth dimensional character, and he's stronger than that, it's really safe to say that Xeno Vegeta is incredible. His power is absolutely incredible. So, at his max power, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, which is Super Saiyan 4 with God Essence. It looks really snazzy. I like the way it looks. Um, I'm glad that they went with an original design. I think it looks nice. Uh, so, at that state, he is at least 6th dimensional. At the bare minimum, he's like at, at probably like high tier 6th dimensional. And you might be thinking, isn't this all hyperbole? Like, this is all just stuff to hype them up. Um, no. Also, the whole feat of them, uh, you know, only casually shaking Beats World, who is a character that views Dragon Ball Heroes as a card game, and these characters' power was so great it was threatening his world. Um, yeah, you can, this, that, that's not hyperbole. No, that actually happened. That is, that is truth. That is 100% factual, and I believe it was a point of one of the major arcs in Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't really know because a lot of it is in Japanese and hasn't been properly translated or some of it we just don't know about because it's an arcade game in Japan. So if these characters are able to effectively affect another plane of reality, another existence, nothing in Super compares. Nothing. And also, Vegeta's speed on the website I'm looking at is stupidly understated. You cannot calculate his speed. So, what they really should be sh saying with Xeno Vegeta, his busting power should be 5th to high tier 6th dimensional in a multiverse complex way. And they should also say that his speed is irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. You cannot calculate it. Only characters that are in the same kind of esque ballpark would even be able to know he's there to even be able to even slightly see him. If Xena Vegeta was rushing around, say, a really powerful character, let's let's just do a hypothetical here. Dragon Ball Super, Ultra Instinct, Master Ultra Instinct, Gogeta. That would be a very powerful character. Very powerful. Xeno Vegeta would run circles around him at speeds that Gogeta could not even possibly comprehend. And Vegeta would be able to one-shot this Gogeta with absolute ease this is not like i'm not pulling your leg here this is how insane these heroes characters become i know heroes typically does his own thing and power scaling is meaningless but when you really look at it there is power scaling there is some consistency esque as consistency kind of every now and then and when it's consistent it's like holy mother of fuck these characters are just insane, and don't even get me started on Xeno Vegito. Holy hell. So, and get this, 
Vegeta's counterpart in Dragon Ball Heroes, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the Capsule Corp Vegeta, the one with God Key, is even stronger. So, no, uh, Battle Wiki, BattleWikiFandom.com. You have things very wrong with the Xeno characters, and it's not just Xeno Vegeta, it's Xeno Goku, and all the other Xeno characters that are there. I haven't really looked into it, but I decided to talk about Vegeta because no one talks about him, unfortunately, even though he is a better character than Goku, and he is awesome. Vegeta fan here. I will say the Xeno Goku is actually, you know, a kind of a good character because he is he's quite different from the normal Goku. He's not he's more serious. He's um not all about it for, you know, good fights. He legitimately wants to protect time. Same thing with Vegeta. So, these Xeno characters are incredible. Their power is without other you can't really describe other any other word than just they are incredible. Their power is just mind-numbing. So, in conclusion, Xena Vegeta, at his you know weakest state, his base form is, I would say, maybe low-ish, hot, mid-ish tier fifth dimensional. And his speed would also be there too, so his speed is irrelevant. And his ultimate form for now at least, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, is 6-dimensional, possibly mid-6-dimensional, and his speed is irrelevant just at an even greater degree. And his his hacks, he's got you know crazy, crazy negations. He cannot be affected by various things. And you might be thinking, what if uh, Zeno from Dragon Ball Super tried to delete him? I just went over that he is immune to existence erasure, so he would look at Zeno and be like, you absolutely, you did nothing. That was very cute. Because he's immune to existence erasure in his own timeline, in Heroes. So a lower dimensional, lower powered character would do nothing. So yeah, the Heroes characters are just built different. They are absolutely built different and Vegeta could blow away the the Dragon Ball multiverse, the canon Dragon Ball multiverse, Dragon Ball Super multiverse, several times over very casually. So, when people want to do versus battles with Xeno Vegeta, keep these in mind, and you're going to start to see that, okay, we're going to have to look for ridiculous characters to kind of even stand up to this guy, because that's just the truth of it. I know it sounds insane. It sounds ridiculous. Like, come on, bro. This is this has to be hyperbole. This has to be just hooey. Like, you know, hyping them up. It isn't. It isn't. Yeah. You really, really have to look into these feats. You have to really, you know, pay attention to everything. It's it's kind of hard with heroes because it can be inconsistent. It can be absolutely inconsistent, and we don't really have everything. So Xena Vegeta might even be more powerful than we even know. Um, so, yeah. Xena Vegeta would solo super very, very easily. Like, it would not even be a fight. Like, like at all. Like, at all, it would not be a fight. No character in super could withstand this guy. Anyway... I hope you enjoyed this rant slash breakdown on the incredible power of Xeno Vegeta, of these Xeno characters. Because I like talking about these kind of things because they're very fun and very interesting. I just wish we knew, we knew more about Heroes. I just wish we had more of it. I wish it was over here in the States, translated, and we had all the media, but we don't. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, in Trilby, we trust.